You guys won't believe the real reason on why Takashi69 was denied bail to be let free. Make sure you guys watch this video fully through to figure out why 6 9 will be sitting up locked up in a cage and won't be making any new music for a very long time. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video right now if you want 6 9 to be let free and to make more music for us. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you would like to join our iPhone X giveaway at the end of the month. Takashi69 had a court hearing yesterday at the time of this recording about hopefully being let out on bail so he didn't have to be sitting locked up until the trial starts for his case. Now unfortunately Takashi69 was denied bail and there's many reasons on why we definitely need to be talking about these today, so this is why I'm going to be uploading this video for you guys. I hope you guys do enjoy, and make sure you guys watch this video all the way until the end so you can hear me out on everything I need to say. Takashi69 was denied bail yesterday at the bail hearing that he had, and there's actually many reasons on why. Now, the judge of this case could have just felt like maybe having Takashi69 let free may not be the best thing for this case, because, you know, this is a pretty serious case. There could be a lot of things going on behind the scenes. You know, maybe the judge is actually doing 6 9 a favor here by not letting him free. Just because there could be people trying to go after him for all we know. We don't really know the specifics. So this could actually be a good thing that he is not being let out on bail. Or just having him out in the public may not be the best thing, as I just said. But one of the main reasons on why 6 9 was denied bail yesterday was because of the United States government being shut down. Now, according to XXL Magazine, with the United States government being shut down, a lot of the legal systems aren't doing the regular things they would, and a lot of inmates are actually being held on lockdown because all of the resources aren't available right now because the government is shut down. Now, in case you guys are unaware somehow, a lot of like, you know, the jails and things like that are ran by the government. Basically, they all are. So if the government's shut down, there actually could be a lot of resources that's, you know, there to help people that are shut down because the government shut down. So they're not even working. There's a lot of things that is going on behind the scenes that in the legal system right now with the government being shut down, that's really not in favor for anyone who's trying to you know get put out on bail and things like that because there's no resources available for people to be you know let free it's kind of crazy to think just because the united states government is shut down it's holding takashi 69 from being let free and i do want to mention again this is all according to double xl magazine i also read this on a couple of other news things online so they're always getting you know the inside scoops on cases and things so it's very important to remember that. Now getting into the reason on why Takashi 69 is locked up right now, a lot of people are probably wondering this just in case you know you are just now getting started in, into looking into why he's been locked up for a long time. And it's going to be because all of the legal issues that's surrounding his name right now. He could possibly be locked up for 15 to 32 years if you know he is convicted and there is proof of him doing all of these things. So it's a very serious issue, and if you haven't heard as of lately, Takashi69 and his whole team were locked up on some very serious charges. Now these charges can keep him locked up for many many years as I just said, which honestly in the end probably would be ending his rapping career. The charges being held on him currently are all federal, and he pleaded non-guilty to them, so this will make the trial start in September of 2019. And currently at the time of this recording, he has no bail set, so he will be sitting locked up in a cage for the next few months, which is pretty scary to think because he's trying his hardest to get bail, and obviously I guess the system just does not want him being let out. So we just pretty much have to sit and wait to figure out what's going to be going on for all of that. Now this is also a very scary thing because if I do remember correctly, I do remember 6 9 being, well, getting locked up as soon as he dropped his album Dummy Boy, so I'm pretty sure that he most likely doesn't have any pre-recorded music. So this could be a very scary thing because if you have no music to put out while being away, then your career could be like literally end as fast as it started. And for 6 9 his career started very fast with his first hit being Gummo. 
people are just going to start to forget about his name and he's going to lose interest. You know, people are going to lose interest in him and his music since there's going to be so many new rappers out there trying to take over his top spot. Because honestly, I do see 6 9 being one of the top rappers right now in the game. If you look at his numbers, they easily back up that statement. Now, if he is found guilty of all these things that are being held against him, then he will be locked up for almost the rest of his life, sources are saying right now. So this is a very scary situation for Takashi 6 9 but one thing that has been said by his team of lawyers is that 6 9 is in, is not afraid to be, you know, work with the police, give them some information that they need to pin the case on people that are actually, you know, the cause of all of these issues. So if you don't really know what I'm talking about, he's practically snitching. That's just what's been said online. He's, you know, he's snitching on the people that are actually the root of these problems to save his career. And honestly, I don't see this as a bad thing for 6 9 This is actually kind of a smart play. You know, why why would he want to go sit, you know, locked up for 15 to 32 years for something that he never did, even though now he's a multi-millionaire, you know, he's got a family, he's got a daughter and things like that. Him sitting locked up for something that he didn't even do would be one of the dumbest things that I've ever seen in my life. You know, it's better to, you know, get the people that actually did it you know get them in trouble for it let you go live your life because you literally hit the lottery with getting this rap career and things like that now this can go one to two ways for 6 9 he can get either all of the charges that were placed on him erased because he's providing you know the police the information and proof proving that it wasn't him doing all this stuff or he's most likely probably gonna have some bad things happen to him for snitching on his team which if you guys know anything about what happens to people that snitch especially on like a close you know team and things like that it's not gonna go well pretty much hundred percent of the time now I really want to know what you guys think about this situation about him snitching or not because what I've, from what I've read from online sources it has been told that he has been snitching on his team a little bit so if it is true this could end pretty bad Make sure you guys comment down below what you guys think. I'm actually kind of curious. Now, the one way that 6 9 actually tried to get, you know, let free on bail was there was two ways. There was a petition that hundreds of thousands of fans signed that could have worked in court because, you know, it was proving to the judge that Takashi 6 9 had a good, you know, public presence. People wanted him out. You know, he does good for the community. He does things for charity and whatnot. Somebody created a petition for 6 9 to be let free from being locked up because it kind of shows that 6 9 has a good public presence. Hundreds of thousands of fans signed this petition hoping that the judge of 6 9s new case will see the impact that he had on the community and how many fans are actually out there giving him support and hopefully you know this will kind of have the judge to be you know a good kind hearted person seeing all this you know he denied 6 9s bail earlier today well yesterday but that doesn't mean that you know the next court hearing that he'll get denied again you know he could he has some time to think about it now so it's actually a pretty pretty good road that we're on right now and then the next way that he'll be let free is from the 1.7 million dollar bail package that him and his team of lawyers are putting together for the case now yesterday they tried to present it to the judge and sadly it was denied but Honestly, I can see if they try this, you know, again with just a little bit more evidence proving that Takashi 6 9 isn't the root of any of these issues with this case. I, I can see the next time they present it to the judge and in court that they will take it and they will, you know, give 6 9 bail. I can honestly see that just because maybe right now they maybe didn't have all the evidence they needed. We still don't know the 100% specifics yet. But it's a very important thing for this case to keep on moving forward because if you are unaware there is a new judge. The judge that they saw yesterday was a brand new judge for this case. The old one did get taken out of it for reasons that we don't really know. So this is a good thing and I can see if Takashi 6 9 keeps on you know offering things to the judge that you know he'll either do better or prove evidence and you know money. I can see him taking it. But anyways guys, it has been District Trending, and I'm out. Peace.